Hello from New York. You're listening to the voice of Patricia Angelin at Alba Technique, and you are at all the feels. And here we are on this beautiful April day, spring in New York. And for my listeners and watchers below the equator, you're going into fall. And it's all good, and it's all beautiful because all seasons are beautiful. And you might, some of you who are very um, uh, observant, might observe that I have had a little procedure underneath my eye, which is, you will be pleased for me to hear, is benign. So it'll be all right. It was a little bit amusing, and my feelings were engaged when I had the procedure done on Monday. Today is Wednesday. And went into the bathroom, washed my hands, looked up to the mirror, and cascading down the side of my face were, were rivulets of very bright red blood. And I thought, oh, what were my feelings about that? Astonishment, first of all. It was, oh, I'd better find uh, something before that gets on my clothes. Okay, and hold it down. And I went back into the ophthalmologist and... She was very busy with somebody in, in her examining room, and I waited until I heard that she dilated the eyes and was going to give that patient a break. And then I, I called, Doctor, can something be done about the cascading, coursing rivulet that is coming down from my eye of blood? And she came in, and she thought that was the funniest thing she'd ever heard. She didn't laugh right away, but afterwards she said, You really made me laugh. Thank you so much for making me laugh. <laughs> so I was having feelings of a little bit of astonishment and oh my goodness. And then I was also amused myself because it was rather pretty. Um, and uh, so anyway, it's all silliness, but that was my feeling on Monday. And today it's aching rather a lot. So I am feeling, am I feeling annoyed with it? No, I'm feeling grateful that I got a medical procedure done that um, needed to be done. That is how I'm feeling. I am also feeling cooped up in my apartment in New York. A lovely apartment as it is, as you can see for yourself. It's, you know, from the background, there's a beautiful oil of the Caribbean Sea and a lovely candle and my little Alba Technique card, my very first card. And uh, it, it's all good. But I have a broken fibula and a slight broken um, tibia at the tip. And today it's giving me some pain. So I am feeling some discomfort is what I am feeling. I'm not terribly emotional about it, except in the most subtle ways. So that is how I am feeling. How are you feeling? I would like to know. Maybe we should change the name of the show from all the feels to how are you feeling? broadly defined. So anyway, today I was, I came across a reference to the poetry of G.K. Chesterton. Now G.K. Chesterton was one of the great prose stylists of the early part of the 20th century. He was born in 1874 and he died just before World War II in 1936. And he would been have been among the the intellectual group, you know, that would have been contemporary with um, a little older then, but contemporary with C.S. Lewis and J.R.R. Tolkien and um, Hilaire Belloc and a, a lot of really excellent, excellent stylists in prose. Um, uh, George Bernard Shaw, I guess, you know, just a lot of people. So he would have been contemporaneous with those people. And I had known that he had written one poem called The Ballad of the White Horse. And it's an epic. It's an English epic poem about King Alfred. And um, so The Ballad of the White Horse might be something you might enjoy looking up by G.K. Chesterton. But this I heard referred to just by title as The Strange Music. And I thought, ooh, I like that for a title, The Strange Music. And what The Strange Music is, when I quickly, you know, just um, approached it with a quick, quick, quick read yesterday, 
is the strange music is the music that is within each one of us that we have the challenge of learning how to play as though we are an instrument that is created to create and to create beautiful music that's unique to us. And so that, when I did my skimming of it, that was what I thought the poem was about. But now when I really approach it for our first real read with you, we'll see if that's what it actually is about. We'll see if that's what you think it's about. Let's find out. Turning the camera around so you can see the beautiful lilies. Here we are. G.K. Chesterton, poet. The Strange Music. Other loves may sink and settle. Other loves may loose and slack. But I wander like a minstrel with a harp upon his back. Though the harp be on my bosom, though I finger and I fret, still my hope is all before me, for I cannot play it yet. In your strings is hid a music that no hand hath e'er let fall. In your soul is sealed a pleasure that you have not known at all. Pleasure subtle as your spirit strained and slender as your frame, fiercer than the pain that folds you, softer than your sorrow's name. Not as mine, my soul's anointed, not as mine, the rude and light, easy mirth of many faces, swaggering pride of song and fight, something stranger, something sweeter, something waiting you afar secret as your stricken senses, magic as your sorrows are. But on this, God's harp supernal, stretched but to be stricken once, hoary time is a beginner, life a bungler, death a dunce. But I will not fear to match them. No, by God, I will not fear. I will learn you. I will play you. And the stars stand still to hear. Isn't that interesting? The strange music. We're each the minstrel of our own music, learning how to play our own music. And when we learn, when we do, I will learn you. I will play you. And the stars stand still to hear. I think that's rather wonderful. So you can look that up, The Strange Music. And as always, I suggest that you, you, know, you look it up on Google and read it for yourself once through visually, just really, really quickly, just so that you get the words in the stanza. And this has one, two, three, four stanzas. And then read it out loud to yourself the second time and hear your own voice and feel your own voice saying the words kinetically. Because when we speak out loud, we have vibration, we have energy, we have resoundingness. And this is very good for your body. And it's very good for you in helping you learn how to play your own feelings and your own thoughts and your own strange instrument. So I will hope that you will join me next week on Facebook Live. Today we're on Instagram Live. And should it not be a convenient time for you, uh, this five o'clock hour Eastern time, New York City, then you can always, or revisit if you choose, on the Alba Technique YouTube page. Thank you so much. Bless you and thank you for being with me. I'm going to turn it around as always so that you can see the beauty of the lilies and the candle before I leave you. You've been listening to all the feels at Alba Technique and I am Patricia Angelin.